Hey guys, how are you doing? So in this video, we will be discussing about the electronic fuel injection system. So what is it? What are the classifications? Why it is better? And many more things about it. So please keep watching this video till the end. You are going to learn a lot of good stuff about EFI. So if you are new to the channel, please subscribe it right now. You can also do one thing that you can share this video to your friends. Electronic fuel injection. Before this uh, EFI, the carburetor was used, but uh, due to several disadvantages of the carburetor, the EFI system is adopted. I have made a comparison video of carburetor and the EFI system. Please keep, uh, please go and watch that video uh, if you are interested in that. So let's start with the EFI. The advantages that EFI is having is that it has better atomization of the fuel. It has better fuel distribution all over the engine, all over the combustion chamber. Because of this uh, better fuel distribution, the air fuel mixture is better, which uh, which later on con contribute to the less emission of the engine, better power of the engine, and the thing is that it can easily be cold started because uh, due to the sensors, uh, it senses the temperature of the air, and according to that, it doesn't require any choke to be pulled. Uh, the fuel is uh, injected more which makes the air fuel mixture richer and uh, due to which the core starting problem has been resolved in this system. Basically this, uh, this system constitutes of uh, mm, some sensor like MAF sensor uh, uh, which senses the amount of air entering inside the engine. Very basically I am telling you uh, about EFI system is that uh, the air MAF sensor uh, calculates the amount of air entering inside it and sends the signal to the ECU. ECU just calculate that this amount of air is sensing so according to the program how much amount of fuel should be sent so according to that uh, according to the program uh, f fed inside the uh, ECU the amount of fuel is injected uh, by the fuel injectors as the ECU sends the signal to the fuel injector fuel injector I have made a video on the fuel injector you can please watch that video you that's a quite interesting video you should watch that video Basically, the, uh, the, uh, the the EFI system is classified into two main things like direct injection and the indirect injection. Direct injection uh, signifies the injection of the fuel directly into the combustion chamber. I have made a video on CRDI which is an example of direct injection system. I will be making the video of GDI that is gasoline direct injection. CRDI is basically for the diesel engines but GDI is basically for the petrol engines as, 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 as the name only suggests GDI gasoline direct injection. So uh, please watch the CRDI video uh, and the other thing is indirect injection system. Indirect injection, uh, the the uh, the fuel is not injected in, into the cylinder, but it is injected in the manifold, or uh, it, the air fuel mixture is generated before entry before the entering of the uh, air inside the uh, inside the combustion chamber. So it already clears that because in diesel engine you are not making the air fuel mixture before uh, the air enters inside the engine. Uh, so that's why indirect injection system is only for the gasolines. Now, uh, after that, the indirect injection system are basically divided into two types. One is SPFI and another is the MPFI. SPFI is a single point fuel injection system and MPFI is a multi-port fuel injection or multi-point fuel injection system. So, th there are, uh, there are, these both are explained by these diagrams. I would like to tell you about SPFI system first. Uh, before MPFI, the SPFI is used but yes, now most of the vehicles are having MPFI system. Single point fuel injection system is very much comparable to the com carbureted, uh, inje uh, carbureted engine. In the throttle body, there is an injector. This injector it will, in it will be injecting the fuel whenever the air is passing through this uh, uh, throttle body. After that, there is a throttle valve which will be regulating the amount of air entering inside the uh, inlet manifolds of these, uh, these uh, cylinders and uh, uh, these, these are the inlet manifolds to, uh, to this engine and these are the four cylinders. Whenever, uh, let us assume that that first cylinder, the first piston is going down, first piston is doing its suction stroke. When this is going down, it is inhaling a lot of air. When this is inhaling the air, the air will be sucked from this throttle body uh, and there is a filter above this throttle body. And the air is sucked, uh, the MAF sensor uh, senses that how much amount of the air is entering. 
and according to that the fuel is injected by this uh, fuel injector only and this fuel is injected and the, in the whole path the air fuel mixture is generated the mixture of the air air and fuel is taking place and uh, uh, we, uh, whenever the valves open of uh, of any of the cylinder the fuel injects in a uh, fuel gets entered uh, by the mixture uh, the air fuel mixture gets entered inside that cylinder uh, let us say if the first time if the uh, first first valve of the first cylinder is opening the air fuel mixture will enter in the first cylinder uh, after that if uh, third valve is opening uh, third uh, cylinder is opening its intake valve then uh, the third uh, the air fuel mixture will be entering inside the third cylinder the whole body is filled with the air fuel mixture the problem is that due to this common injector the uh, the uh, uh, since this is the shortest path uh, the second and the third uh, third uh, second and th th third cylinder are having the shortest path they will be getting much more fuel than that of the uh, first and fourth cylinder so in this way uh, the uh, the distribution of the air fuel mixture to each and every cylinder is not that much efficient on the other hand if we talk about uh, the mpfi system it is having uh, as the name says multi point so the fuel injector will be at multi points that is uh, on each and every manifold there will be a fuel injector the uh, the path of the air will be common the uh, the air will be coming from a single point but the different cylinders will be having different injectors uh, like that of the spfi there is a throttle valve which will be regulating the amount of air entering inside it uh, as as more the th throttle pedal you press the more of the throttle valve will open the more of the air will be entering uh, let us say uh, the first piston is going downward and taking its uh, uh, suction stroke the air will be entering from this and uh, uh, and this injector will be taking the signals from the position of the crankshaft uh, the as the position of the crankshaft will signify which uh, piston is going to do the intake stroke uh, then uh, in that case uh, the the crankshaft will be sending the, the crankshaft position sensor will be sensing the signal to ecu and from that ecu ecu will be sending the signal to the uh, uh, to the uh, injector which which ever injector is uh, going to uh, going to play the role uh, the the injector will be send the signal and then injector will inject the fuel there uh, at this point the air fuel mixture will takes place and when this air fuel mixture enter inside it due to the swirling action again the air fuel air fuel mixture mixes well and after that the combustion process takes place if uh, and after that if the third cylinder is going to have its suction stroke the third injector will be injecting uh, and the uh, and uh, similarly for all the injectors so in this way this spf and and, and mpfi works so i hope uh, this efi system is quite clear to you if you still have any doubts and any queries you can please ask me on the comment section below you can ask me on instagram you can ask me on facebook also i will be happy to help you please ask me some questions so that uh, this topic gets clear to you if you like this video you can share this video to your friends so that they can also understand what is e uh, efi system and how it is better than the car carbureted system so thanks a lot guys for watching keep watching keep sharing and keep supporting guys thanks a lot